Our dietary habits have changed more in the past 100 years than they had in the previous 100,000 years. And the reason for this can be traced down to the industrialization of food. In this video, I'm gonna go over four foods in particular that are expanding your waistline, starving your brain, and depriving your body of the very nutrients that it needs to produce optimal levels of testosterone. The first food that's killing your testosterone levels is refined sugar. In the year 1700, the average person consumed just five pounds of sugar per year. Today, the average American consumes more than 150 pounds of sugar every single year. Tyler Graham in his book titled The Happiness Diet tells us that the dramatic rise in sugar consumption over the past few hundred years is the biggest change in the human diet since the invention of fire, all right? And the problem with eating refined sugar is that it shoots your blood glucose levels way up only to have them crashing way down a few moments later. Your body responds to these rapid fluctuations in blood sugar by decreasing insulin sensitivity. And this means that more and more insulin is being pumped by your pancreas to help deposit all that excess sugar. Why? Because excess blood glucose levels can be toxic and potentially dangerous, all right? As any diabetic can attest. And decreased insulin sensitivity results in a significant dip in testosterone levels and a significant dip in growth hormone levels as well. In extreme cases, it can even lead to obesity and type 2 diabetes. So the takeaway from this is to kick your sugar habit. All right, and the second food that's killing your testosterone levels is refined grains. Before the Industrial Revolution, all grains were stone ground. And this means that we were unable to separate the germ from the kernel. Then the Industrial Revolution rolled around and we began rolling the grains with iron rollers. And by doing this, we were effectively able to remove the germ from the kernel. And why did we do this? Because although the germ is filled with nutrients and fiber and healthy fatty acids, it makes the flour spoil faster. So refining the grains effectively gave them a longer shelf life, which meant that they could be transported all around the world without going Bad. But know this, all right? Your body responds to refined grains the same way it does to eating refined sugar, i.e. by decreasing insulin sensitivity, which leads to lower testosterone, lower growth hormone, and a wider waistline. And another point to keep in mind is that high grain diets also reduce your body's ability to synthesize vitamin D, which is a crucial component of testosterone synthesis. So what should you do? Switch out the refined carbs in your diet like bread, pasta, and breakfast cereals for more complex carbs like kidney beans, lentils, and starchy vegetables. And that brings us to food number three that's killing your testosterone levels, which is vegetable and seed oils. Vegetable oils uh, must be pretty healthy. I mean, they've got the word uh, vegetable in them, right? Wrong. Vegetable and seed oils, whether that's sunflower oil, soybean oil, or canola oil, are all extracted and refined from processed plant sources. And why are vegetable oils bad for you? Because they contain an omega-3 to omega-6 acid ratio that's completely out of whack. Let me explain. So omega-3s are basically anti-inflammatory acids. Omega-6s are inflammatory acids. Your body needs both of them to maintain optimal function, but the ratio in vegetable and seed oils is something like 16 to 1 in the favor of omega-6 fatty acid. And the result of this? Chronic inflammation. Now, not only does chronic inflammation significantly lower your testosterone levels, but it also leaves you at an increased risk of developing a host of other chronic conditions. Heart disease, diabetes, cancer, and depression, just to name a few. Vegetable and seed oil did not exist before the industrial revolution. Yet today, the average American consumes 20% of his calories from soybean oil alone, all right? That's pretty crazy. So what should you do? Switch out all your vegetable and seed oils for healthier alternatives like olive oil, coconut oil, butter, and MCT oil. All right, and that brings us to food number four, which is trans fats. Eating trans fats is detrimental to male health. Not only does it significantly lower your testosterone levels, but it also destroys your sperm. But what's even more scary than both of these facts is that every 2% increase in trans fats consumption increases your risk of developing cardiovascular disease by 23%. Trans fats are evil. So have a look in your pantry and scan for the ingredients. If you see partially hydrogenated anything on the label, toss it out. Baked goods, fried foods, potato chips, and margarine are usually the most common culprits. Trans fats are so dangerous that in 2015, the FDA actually made a proclamation to eliminate them from food by 2018. But I haven't seen this coming into effect yet, so keep an eye out. 
So with the industrialization of food, society has gone all in with food quantity while completely ignoring food quality. As a result, the average man has an expanding waistline while his body is completely deprived of the very nutrients that he needs to produce optimal levels of testosterone. Make it a priority to avoid refined sugar, refined grains, vegetable and seed oils, and trans fats. Not only will this significantly elevate your body's natural testosterone production, but it will also propel you towards a healthier, happier, and more fulfilled life. That's all for now, and I'll see you soon.